having completed the first activity let us go to the second activity right so this is the second activity in your book now you can see that there are two circles small circles inside the larger ones so it says that the dimension of the small circle is given as diameter 30 so which means that the radius of the small circle is 15 mil the radius of the outer circle is given as 30 millimeters so I'll just write it like this which is your 30 millimeters now usually the distance between the center of this circle and the center of this circle is given but unfortunately I cannot find the cent um, dimension so what we will do is we will assume that the distance from this center to this center of this um, circle is 60 millimeters so the first thing that we will do is we will draw a line for 60 millimeters and then we will draw two vertical lines and then we will draw a circle of 15 millimeters the next circle of 15 millimeters and then we will draw a semicircle of 30 millimeters the next semicircle of 30 millimeters and then we will join these lines so that's the plan so keep the ipad aside for reference so that you can always look at what you're drawing and then let's start with the actual drawing now the first and foremost thing is i'm going to draw a construction line now i'm going to take a ruler place the ruler exactly not slanting so the one way to check if the ruler is um, exactly horizontal is by aligning the edge of the scale to the edge of the paper now you see that i am i am aligning it straight so this makes sure that the line which i am going to draw is going to be horizontal now if you are going to use a drawing board then this wouldn't be a problem because already the ruler which is there on the drawing board will be horizontally aligned now I'm just drawing a very thin line it is just a construction line here so that's the reason why I'm drawing it very thin now let us continue I told you that the distance between the center of the circles here between this point and this point is 60 millimeters so draw a line of 60 millimeters I'll draw I'll use this scale so that it is going to be transparent so anywhere on the construction line just place the scale mark 0 and mark 6 and then join the line now this is the 60 millimeter line now you don't have to draw a very dark line as I have drawn because this is just going to be a construction line but just for your reference I'm drawing it like this right and and then I'll erase it so that it is just going to be very thin line so we'll be using it only as a construction line but you can still see where it starts isn't it this is the point which I marked at 0 and this is the mark which I marked at 6 mil I'll make use of the compass keep the middle of the compass now you see that there is a middle of the compass here the plus mark this plus mark should exactly be on the dot keep it like this and then mark 90 degrees same thing here mark 90 degrees and then take the pencil or scale join the two dots this is just construction as it is a construction line I'm only drawing it like this okay we'll continue it from this point onwards so we have marked all the construction lines from here on we are going to draw the circles now as I told you the small circle has a radius of 15 millimeters isn't it so take the compass and then take the ruler and then you will measure 1.5 millimeters like this now you can see it is okay there you go this is 1.5 millimeters after doing this I'm going to keep the circle the 
the center and then I'm going to draw the circle okay in case if you slip again on the same dot and then you can do it like this. now this is one way of drawing the circle the other way of drawing the circle is you can use a circle template like this and I saw that this particular circle that you have here the bigger circle that has a diameter of 3 millimeters now you can see from here to here it's exactly 3 millimeters so I'll, I'll use this circle to draw it not the other one this is a smaller one I'm going to use this circle to draw the 3 uh, 30 millimeter diameter now again keep it like this you can see that the template also has lines like this you see that the four lines I'm going to align these four lines to the four construction lines that I have drawn so carefully align it okay it's good now and then just draw a circle like this now you see this is much clean faster so you can use a circle template if you want now the next circle that we have to draw is the outer circle this one and the radius is 30 millimeters read the drawing carefully and now of course that's a bigger circle and I don't have any bigger circles on the template so of course I have to switch to my compass and now I'll measure 30 millimeters or 3 centimeters so to be very accurate you can see this okay this is 3 keep it in the center don't make a hole just draw a semicircle nice and easy same thing here keep it here hold it at the tip and draw a semicircle that's it now all you have to do is join these two points and then join this point and that's it that's how you draw the second drawing the second drawing is much more simpler isn't it yes there you go that's your drawing